side, but loser side, but only one can pass. That's right. Now I, I'm I'm speechless. Now Nairo's usually uh Nairo when he fights Sam Sora, he usually goes like some troll character or something something wacky for game number one, but Dang, man. There's too see, much on the line. This is a saga. <laughs> I see the Palatina game one, <laughs> and it ain't reverse mains either. Yeah, it is, it is not, in fact, reverse mains. But like I said, there's too much on the line to play any uh, any of those gimmicky, like, game one characters. Ganon, put him back on the shelf, put him on the sidelines. Yeah, we love seeing Nairo's Ganon, but guess what? This is to make it into the top eight. This is for all the honor, all the glory, and it's time to find out which one of these two Titans is going to make it. E United, Sam Sora, and NRG Nairo are going to battle it out. And are the Naifus in the chat? That, that's what I got. Oh, they better be in the chat. Be I better be seeing up their boy. the Nairo Apex is coming through because you already know, man, Nairo going to be one of the fan favorites, especially here in the Twitch chat. But let's get into it. Game number one, we're going to be on Pokemon Stadium 2. No surprise here. That's right. I mean, this is pretty much the new starter build for, for Smash Ultimate. With a fair into the nair, not going to connect. And here comes Samsora with the string, already 58%. And, I mean, that's that's the thing. Like, Peach still probably one of the strongest conversion characters mm -hmm. um, amongst the top tiers. Right, right, right. Okay, down tilt's going to connect. But okay, charging up that smash. Must have been looking for uh, some type of float or maybe an air dodge from yeah. Samsora. Definitely check in and see what he's going to do. Yeah, and Nairo definitely uh, not someone that is uh, scared to go off stage. Wow, what item control. He just Z-grabbed that mid-air. And the forward air is going to close it out, catching him on the top side there. So Samsora going to come in with this lead. Yeah, unfortunately for Nairo, he just recovered a little bit too high above the ledge. And then just really allowed Samsora to set up those forward airs to take the stock. But not before taking 112%. That's nothing to sleep at. You're going to see a down throw, possibly a back air. No, reaching with the forward air, but not able to connect. Okay, now Samsora, the one that just needs to tack on some damage. It can be a little harder to get these, some of these peach combos when you got high rage, but Samsora is still out here making it work. That's right, falling back here. <laughs> no fear from Nairo. <laughs> and this is actually crazy because we see Samsora in this top eight qualifier, and a lot of people thought that Samsora wasn't even going to compete in this tournament just because, you know, he didn't have his controller. Yeah, he didn't have a controller. He didn't think he was playing that well on the pre-Saga event. You know, a lot, a lot of reason for him not to enter. But here he is rocking the top eight qualifier on the loser side. Put on a show for you guys. I'm glad Samsora ended up entering. Yeah, you know, me too. I'm always a fan of watching Samsora and Nairo play. So really great treat to watch these two compete. Mm -hmm. The forward air connects for Samsora, and that's going to push Nairo to the right side of the stage. But nearing right over Samsora. Here we go. We're putting on a little bit of damage. Yeah, and that's going to be like the one the, the, one of the main bread and butters for Palutena at these earlier stages of the game, right? At these earlier percentages, the fair or the back here into the dash attack. Really solid damage. Nothing crazy, though, but, you know, really solid damage. We need to get a turnip counter for the amount of turnips that Nairo is going to be catching that, you know, Sensor is really thrown out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's Nairo, catching a, a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, like like most top players, their item control is phenomenal. But the, another forwarder in the corner. But, I mean, Nairo did get a lot of uh, mileage off that stock, 173% dying to uh, Peach like that. Peach hits incredibly hard. So staying alive for that long is incredible in itself. Okay, falling with the back air, able to cross up Sansora, get a little bit of a reverse situation, but down tilt getting a trade. Now, oh, where's the back air? Yeah, there it is. No jump on Samsora, forced to go with the up B, and Nairo catching him going to the ledge there. But Samsora is able to make it back on the stage. Yeah, it's big brain play, though. You know, he reached wow. with the, He was reaching with the back air, but able to catch the drift with the Nair, and then even following up with another back air. And when Nairo goes oh. in, bro, he just, he like has the, he like floors that gas pedal, bro. Like, <laughs> Yo, there is no in between. Yeah, it's like for, SpongeBob, for. just floor it, <laughs> floor it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the up air almost connecting after Explosive Flame, and Nairo is the one keeping up this pressure, even though he's not the one with the lead. That's right. Just maintaining stage control, Explosive Flame, going to force, uh, force Sansora to recover just Back a little in, bit lower. Is that it? He, wow. Nairo is so damn clutch, bro. He is he's so He was down an entire stock. And if I don't see the Nairo FXs after that, I don't know what we have to do, what Nairo has to do to get you guys to do it. It does not matter if Nairo is Jeez. down. He is bro. playing a goddess. Jeez. Nairo so, so clutch, man. He was down an entire stock, just really pulled it together, that second stock, strung everything together, and just went in. But I, you know what? I see the, the stage selection from Samsora. He's opting to go for Final Destination, eliminating those platforms, because if you saw the way that Nairo was abusing platforms against Samsora, he was dragging him down, he was pressuring him, he was making sure that Samsora did not feel safe anywhere on the stage. Yeah. 
All right, so final destination is the pick here. Uh, Samsora starting off game number one so, so strong, but Nairo clutching it out. We'll see what Samsora can do on this counter pick. No platforms, so no teleport cancels anywhere. Um, maybe one of the reasons why uh, Samsora picked this stage, maybe he's just comfortable on it. The uh, corner pressure and the ledge trapping is very volatile on the stage as well. That's true. You know, we saw just how, uh, how much Samsora excels at ledge trapping earlier in the day. Nairo tried to double jump down there. And <laughs> can I get some respect on my boy Sansor, bro? Come on. You know, you got to hit those top players with, the, with that jank sometimes. They, you know, they're top players, but you can, you can catch, catch them sleeping sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Again, so Sansor is the one that starts off this game number one, the first stock in his favor, but you can never sleep on Nairo. He just always finds a way to bring it back. Okay, so we saw the Nairo auto reticle come out. Let's see if he does, in fact, just try and bait out opponents with uh, standing within a certain distance, think, making them think that they're going to, he's going to opt for the auto reticle. But hey, look, another turn up. Ooh, Bring up the this, counter. Yeah, <laughs> this time I like the high float coming out from Sam Sora and just really avoiding the fact that, you know, Nairo didn't have access to his aerials because he had the turn up in hand. So really good stuff. And Sam Sora going to be the one to seal out this first stock, almost dying to that up air. What a stretch off stage. Yeah, I mean, but Nairo, not, no fear. He's this not time. afraid of going so deep to take a stock, especially when he knows that he's going to be able to teleport back to stage. Up tilt out of shield is the call from Nairo. I love how he sets up those uh, up tilts as well. Sometimes he'll do it from like a pressure situation, like, oh, let me fair your shield, go into up tilt to try and catch your jump. Or sometimes he'll catch ledge jump with it. He gets very creative. Uh, Palutena's tilt's definitely not her strong suit. Except oh. down tilt. Down tilt's like absolutely busted. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, the, the, those, those tilts last quite a bit, too. Right, right. You know, they're all, like, spinning the staff. Right. So. It, like, usually don't use them in neutral, so to speak. Like, they, they do have they do have their uses, you know what I mean? Like, lingering hitboxes. Ooh, look at that. The double jump and the Z catch, man. Nara looking nice out here with oh. these turnups. Oh, man, turn turn turnups are this, Turnup combos. <laughs> I thought that was Samsora's turnup, bro. <laughs> What's going on? Could I get a return? Yo, turnups have no legions. That's why I'm, that's why I'm, I'm down for the turnup legions. Very true. Ooh, Nairo using the teleport cancel even though there's no ledge with the tech off the side B, man. Nairo staying alive with the back air. Yes, he's still there. Okay, no need to catch the turn up this time. Is it going to be able to counter at the ledge? That's the wrong call, Nairo. You're going to hit with the back air. Samsora hitting him with the float and wait. The back air going to get air dodged here. Again, Samsora with the stock lead. Can he get extra damage? He's staying alive. Lee's got 1% here. Okay, the fair at the ledge does catch Sam Sora, but it's not enough to take a stock. Reaching with the up air, but expending all the flow. Wow. Drag down up air to grab. Beautiful. And then he tries to catch the landing with the side of the dash attack. Will go ahead and take that second stock. Nairo keeping it very, very close this game number two. That's right. Dash attack is all you need. And guess what? Here we go. Ooh, dang. That reversal with the air, too. We twirling and we turning up in here. Okay, throwing out another auto reticle. Okay, going to land with the forward air. I don't know about those auto reticles. That's really close. This is so, so close against these two competitors. With the parry, but no punish. Kind of difficult. I understand why Nero wouldn't have gone for it. Wow. But the big up smash, that's going to be an anti-air. And putting Samsor on the board. Yeah, Nairo pretty tight about that one. <laughs> he even fast fell down to the ground to try and not get his landing caught there. But Samsor knew exactly what the mix-up was there. And just throwing that hard hit exactly where he needed to. Yeah. When you have the hardest to read, you got to trust your gut. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. That's right. Sam Sora did just that. He followed his intuition. And now we're in a game three one with the score being one and one. Yeah, and man, Sam Sora doing an incredible job in terms of not letting Nao really run away with the set. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you have control of a game and someone brings it back like you on that, it can be very demoralizing. But Sam Sora keeping resilient and keeping this set close, being one one, this is as close as you can get. That's right. Okay, getting a couple of nares at the ledge. Forces Sansora off stage, but now Sansora is putting on his own damage. Is the fair into fair. Now we're trying to get the extension, but hits the landing with the dash attack here. Okay, down throw into back air. Yep, good damage. Gonna go high with the warp, but uh, Sansora is there, ready to react, ready to cover that. Okay, dash attack connects for Sansora. Now, look at the roll around. Wow. He's just trying to mess up the positioning from Nairo. Especially if, like, Nair comes out, he's gonna be able to get the punish. And Peach has such a great tool in terms of having that float against. The, wow, dude, these these Z catches are so high. <laughs> just, telling you, get the turn up counter going. Yeah, yeah. Nairo definitely showing off that that skill of his. But having the float against uh, Palutena up air, where like most characters can't contest it, but you can kind of stall it out. Like, oh, Palutena double jumped up. Let me just float. Wait. Okay, you can't stay there forever, and I'm gonna come back down with you. 
Very true. Okay, Sansora setting up at the ledge. Turn up. He's going to get beaten out by fourth. Or, okay. Teleporting right to center stage. I love the full hop. Float cancel right into the aerial. You know, most players, they see any character rise up that fast and high, and it's just like, oh, okay, I can come in. But it's like, oh, float cancel my jump, coming back down with the aerial. So, so nice. And that's, you know, that's the strongest tool that Peach has is that float because it's so versatile, right? You can use that's it in right. so many different situations. Okay, back air connects for Nairo, and that's going to clean up that uh, first stock for Samsor. These yeah. two players have been scrapping in center yeah. stage. Yeah, Nairo gets the stock, but at what cost do you fly? Um, 125%. Obviously, you got to get the stock, but man, it's just Samsor has done such a great job of you know, abusing this lead he has. That's true. Just look at the position, and he continues to, to place himself at the ledge. He's waiting for, Sam, or for Nairo to go high, and then even following up, making sure that Nairo is feeling pressured. Wow. Right there, cross up. Forward yep. air into up smash. He knew that Nairo was going to jump in that situation and just reposition himself in that area. So that up smash was just so, so key. And I love that Samsor is being very, very confident with these up smashes. Even though all of them aren't hitting, you've got to be confident in your reads for the kills. That's right. Forward air does connect. And now we see a Nair drag down there. Uh, but no follow up from Nairo. But you can never count the kid out, man. I mean, we saw what happened game number one, right, with Nairo. So uh, we'll see if Samsor can, you know, close this one out. Or Nairo's gonna be clutch once again. Okay, well the Peach Bomber does connect another turn of catch. But guess what? You can only really catch one of those. Ooh, wow. Float cancel right into the grab and the damage just keeps racking up here for Samsora. Falling up air gonna throw off the timing and the back air connects and that is gonna be a two stock coming into this game number three. Or I guess exiting the same. Yeah. Samsora looking at the strongest he's been in this set. Playing very confident. Yeah, and I, I I don't really see a character switch coming out from Nairo. I, I just feel like you stick it out with the Paulo. I mean, but I mean, we, we could see it. Nairo can play a slew of characters if you, if you guys ever have checked out Nairo streaming. If you haven't, I don't know what you're doing. This, this might be the tight. time when Ganon comes out. <laughs> really? This, this, no, I don't, I'm just saying that Nairo's kind of player, you know, he, he's down to throw a Hail Mary. Oh, yes, 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 100%. But no Hail Marys here this game. Number four, we're going to stick it out with the Palutena. And looks like we're just running it straight back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Of course. Just pure fundamental is going to be the name of the game between these two players. Combo games, neutrals. Oh, gets the grab. Nice frame trap coming up from Nairo. Already 57 here on the Samsora. Look at the spacing with that forward air. Both of them really trying to land either down to or forward there. Both kicking at each other. Yeah, Palutena forward air. <laughs> kind of good. Negative five on block has incredible range, and you get convergence off of it as well. Sounds pretty top tier to me, Z Fly. Yeah, it does. He said a bunch of numbers, and I love numbers. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of low numbers. See, bunch of low that's numbers. That's the key. You want the number to be low. Okay, a dash attack is going to beat out the forward air from Sansor. And now we're fishing with these up airs. Does able to land one, but a down air is going to allow Sansor to make it back to stage. Yeah, I like the back air pressure. It's kind of flipping the situation on a Sansora. The down tilt connects. The forward air does get air dodge, but at what cost? Because Nairo's going to follow up on the frame trap with the Nair, and that takes the first stock. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, we saw oh, Nairo playing really aggressive off stage. Not so much in game two and three. Yeah, yeah. No, and I mean, that's the game changer, right? Yeah. But, man, the forward air, Sansora only taking like 17, 18%. That's nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much nothing, considering these uh, both these characters' damage output. Oh, the Nair does get shielded, and Sansora is the one victorious with the grab at the end. Okay, checking the shield with the back air. Now trying to land a Nair. Both these players checking each other's shield and their neutral. Ooh, you know, okay. They're both trying to get some bubble space. That's all. You know, oh, personal yeah. space is indeed important here. And they're and they're both doing such a good job of pressuring each other's shield, going for the crosses when they need to. Ooh, wow, the forward air just missing, and Sansora going to snatch him up for it and okay. teleport right to the other platform. Good, good idea, retreating to the other side and Sam trying to just uh, land inside a very active Samsora. Yeah, that's so unfortunate for Nairo. That that forward smash to the right on that platform was definitely an input error. He wanted to drop through the platform and back air. Um, and that did end up like kind of killing him because Samsora hit him and then killed him after. So unfortunate input error there from Nairo, but I, I think he can still bring it back. That's true. I mean, he's put a good amount of damage onto Samsora, only taking 20. Really, we're going to see another back throw from Nairo. And what's the, is he going to drop off? No, goes, looks for the down tilt. Aggressive uh, option from the ledge there with the uh, forward air. And Sansor is just putting the pieces together, just getting as much damage as he can before this stock gets taken. Okay, turn up at the ledge. That's going to force Sam, uh, Nairo to get back to center stage. And if, if Nairo, Nairo needs to be clutch, I mean, this is his last chance, right? Right. Because if he loses this game, it will be in Samsora's favor 3-1. So 
I, I really want to see a game five, though. I do, in fact, would love to see a game five, but we're not seeing Nairo go off stage anymore. We see Samsor opting to recover low, but where are the runoff? Uh, Nair drags. Where's the challenge? This is really dangerous because Sansora has rage. If he gets hit by a fair by the edge, that, that could be it. Nair, not enough to take it cross stage. The up air doesn't connect, but it actually connects for Sansora. The fair just missing the dash stack, still frame trapping him, though. What a great reversal for Sansora, chasing Nairo all over the stage. The platform seemed to be in his advantage this time. Okay, retreating to the platform once again, and the back air is going to connect. Still not enough to take the stock from across stage. Are we going to see the Nair drop down? We finally see it. Pulls the trigger on the Nair drop down, but Korean 119%. Yeah, at least Samsora is no rage. And All right, now we're getting something started with the Nair. Calls okay. out the jump. There's no jump on Samsora. And no it's air dodge, but oh. landing with the forward air. Very big oh. hitbox. The back air going to connect. Not enough to take the stock, but whoa. Okay, grab the turn up. So confident, even at Grim. Look, oh man, and just like that, the back air does connect, and Nairo will end this tournament at ninth place, but what a performance from 